All right, so oftentimes you're going to want to uh, change the parameters on a series of panels that have the logo PLCs in them, but you want to, don't want to change the same uh, settings in each panel every time manually. So what we're going to do is go through the exercise of changing the parameters and then what it takes to copy that to the SD card and then um, so that you can distribute those changes to the other panels. So we currently have a program running um, and in, in order to write, read and write to the card we have to stop the program. So if we do escape and we go to the main menu we do enter to stop and we say yes. Um, you'll see that the top menu changes to start so that we can actually start it again but now we also have the menu item card at the bottom and so there's uh, a couple of options here we're gonna concentrate on the first two um, <clears throat> normally when you boot up a machine it uses it automatically does this option which is loading the program from the card into the PLC so you can see the direction of data is from the card to into the program spot on the PLC. The top item is save program to card. So that's what we would be doing if we wanted to distribute the, the changes. So if we escape, I'm going to take a look at the program and uh, let's take a look at an example parameter. So let's we set the parameter. Let's say this particular one here is uh, 15 minutes um, and we want to change it. So if we just go, we go down to this uh, item here and we see the time base is 15 minutes, we might want to change it to say 25 minutes uh, uh, or let's say 23 minutes, I don't know, whatever. So you just uh, scroll right and left between the digits and up and down to change the number that you want it at that particular spot. When you're done your changes to the desired time base you just do enter and you have it has the new set point parameter has been set. So now we uh, escape out of this because we've made our changes. Um, we go back to the card menu that I showed you earlier and we save the program to the card. You see the direction arrow between the word prog and card that shows the direction of data flow so we are saving the program to the card. Um, sometimes it does a keyboard bounce but anyways we have to verify by saying yes and that little uh, progress bar showed that we save the program to the card. So um, before we leave we want to make sure that we start this program so that it runs with the new program and we say yes. So this now is running with the new program with the new parameters. Now that we've completed this we can just uh, remove power Take the SIM card or SD card out. So we've removed it and we can reapply power. The program will run as before, but it just doesn't have this, the SD card in it. So then then the process would simply be when we get to the new PLC let's pretend this is the new PLC we take power off we take a open up this little guy we put the card that we just wrote into this PLC and we reapply power So the moment that we applied power, it just loaded the program that's on the SD card automatically. And so then you can 
to verify that it's taken, if you want, you can uh, simply go to the uh, program, set parameter, and you can check one of them and to verify that the new time has been entered and is in the new uh, PLC. Um, this PLC that we've copied to does not need to be started again because it's already it was already running before we removed power. So to copy from a card, it's simply a power cycle with the card in. Um, and I'm not sure even sure if you're supposed to take it out while it's running or not. I've I just am cautious and I shut it off. Remove the SIM, the SD card, and energize. And then, of course, you just repeat the process for the subsequent panels that you're copying to.